Ostrahag, segi ég. Þá er þjáldin strigur upp. Mun það vera allt sem maður getur gert eigi að deyja. to the gates of Tamworth will Eivor is your axe sharpened I'm ready for the spear din and the thunder of shields yes it's good to have you with us to fight beside such legends is an honor I've only heard tales of your conquests now I get to live them we'll weave our sagas together thread upon thread come on boy we'll forge a man from your softness Hammered on the anvil of war. Need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too.
Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chaelbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive. Truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my skull. Skull? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something, as if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as... I like the thought of that. I do!
The guards here are... Look at these pagan rats! Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground! Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool! What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough joying, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a battery battle. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Rest from rattling skulls. Hey! Rattle these bones. Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end. Often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Soldiers, lead the king to me. Ready? 
It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Give me a hand over here. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chaelwolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Jailbird was around. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Ivar, I found a letter. 
There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. He must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tona's. My son told me what happened earlier. ...with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. See you, old friend.
This is not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Come. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgred is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hunk. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring her axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. The embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. When Cheolwulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount. And maybe Cheolwulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas. Led the Chester and Temple Brochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Led Chester and Temple Brochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Survey the area, Sudan.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. is heavily guarded.
Siegert's told us the news. Well done. Letter Chester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letter Chester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrecht could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tana? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. And your friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. <laughs>